What's going on everybody? Nick from Six Minute Fishing here. And today is going to be the third episode of the Tiny Lure Challenge. I asked you guys to suggest some tiny topwater lures. And the funny thing is a lot of you guys suggested using a hula popper. I've actually had this thing in my tackle box for the past couple years. I've never used it, but uh, I'm gonna try it out today and see if I can't catch some bass. Okay guys, first cast and my initial impressions on this little hula popper, it, uh, it's got a nice chugging action. I've got to say, I don't use poppers as much as I probably should, but uh, I think it's going to do pretty well. Oh, I think a bass went for it. He missed it though. Dang. Oh, there's a fish. Yes, <laughs> this guy absolutely destroyed it. Finally caught a fish. Hey later, buddy. Well guys, it has been a struggle to say the least. I've been out here for a little over an hour and that was my first fish and it was a little bass, but I am super pumped about that. So as far as retrieve goes, I'm casting it out there and I'm letting it sit. So once it's the water, I'll give it about 10, 15 seconds before I give the first pop. And then after that first pop, I'll let it wait another 10 seconds. So it's a pretty slow retrieve. Okay, last cast. Top water is not doing too good this evening, unfortunately. I was really crossing my fingers, hoping the bass would be hitting top water, but it's not happening. Yesterday, I was using the hula popper. I only caught one bass, unfortunately. So, instead of just grinding out another slow day of fishing, I thought I'd throw another lure in the mix. Funny enough, I've actually had this thing in my tackle box for the past couple years as well. It's actually a tiny bumblebee. I bought it because it looks cool and it still looks cool. I've never actually used it, so I don't know how it's gonna act in the water, but uh, I'm actually excited to give this thing a try. There's a fish. Oh, I think it's crappie. Yes. Yes. I'm not very good at identifying the species of crappie, so uh, leave in the comments what, uh, what type of crappie this actually is. <coughs> See you later, buddy. I'm gonna switch over to the hula popper and hopefully catch a fish with that also. I'm just not getting uh, many strikes with this hula popper. There's a fish. No, it broke off. No. Well, that's pretty frustrating, guys. I've had that thing in my tackle box for close to three years. Caught one fish on it. There's a fish. Holy cow. Look at the size of this thing. See you later, buddy. There you go. Oh, holy cow. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing almost ripped the rod out of my hands. Later, buddy. Okay guys, it is 8.30 right now. I just caught that nice crappie. I don't have too much longer to fish, but from what I could tell so far, the sunfish and the crappie, they prefer that bumblebee over the hula popper. I can't really fish with the hula popper anymore since I lost it. So I'm gonna try to catch a couple more fish with this bumblebee before it gets too dark. But overall, I'm uh, really enjoying fishing with this thing. Oh, yes. Yes! <laughs> Just caught a bass with the bumblebee. Oh, see you later, buddy. I appreciate you all who left comments on that last challenge video on lures to trap, but keep them coming, guys. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one.
Oh, there's a fish. Oh, he's caught around that lily pad. I don't know what to do. Okay, guys, I've got a stick. Hopefully, whoa, I'm going down. Oh, it's got ants all over it. What the heck? It's an ant stick. Oh, they're invading. Okay, new plan. New plan. Okay, guys, got a new stick. Oh, yes, I got it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 